Take one. Hello, Earthlings. If you are hearing this tape, that means this message survived and there is now life on Earth. Planet Galactica, fully arranged the year 2030. Population, 10 billion. Creatures of residence, all life forms. Whether from the neighboring planet Jargon, creatures across the galaxy, or from the remains of Earth. We from Galactica are called Galatians. Decades ago, when humanity declined, the few remaining joined a planet of all living alien species. Earth reached climates unbearable with flooding lands, and scorching heat, and terrible weather, not to mention the constant famine. Those who survived found sanctuary on our planet Galactica. It is now the year 2045, and I, Venus, am one of those few Earthlings remaining. Yes, my name is Venus, like the planet. No, I don't have a last name. Why? Because some things remain a mystery. Or because I'm the one recording this tape and I want to remain mysterious. Although, it is peculiar because Venus is a planet that is not Earth, yet is closely similar given the fact that they're in the same solar system. Now that I think about it, I don't even really prefer the planet Venus. My favorite planet on that solar system is Uranus. Still, it would be weird if my name was Uranus. Or Earth. Earth is a terrible name. Anyways, back to the tape. Galactica is a massive planet swarming with life more than Earth ever could. Some Earthlings call it the America of the Universe. And just like America, there was capitalism, drama, and undeniable stupidity. But most of all, there was Gollywood. Galactica Hollywood, if you will. The closest way I can describe what it's like is, well, there's one story that I can describe it as. My name is Venus, and this is how I worked with a shiny ex-celebrity from the dominant feeding planet Jargon. The number one most feared, hated, and loved creature to ever live, my idol, Gladys Glamour. And cut. Hello, Galactica, and welcome to Good Gorny Galactica. I'm Fiona Fickle. And I'm Flounder Fig. Ah. <laughs> Flounder, we switched our names again, silly. Ah, I guess we did. No. Ah, that was on purpose. That was the joke. Funny, right? <laughs> I'm Flounder Fig. And I'm Fiona Fickle. It's funny, because just before, that was not our names. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's over. All right, anyhow, we have a very special guest joining us this morning. You may recognize her from the 2040 award-winning film, Escape from Planet Earth. Ooh. Rumors have it that no one has heard from her since. It's almost as if she disappeared off the face of Galactica. That is, until now, nicknamed Gollywood's biggest bit bombshell due to her massive growth in fame over the last decade, she's decided to make a comeback. And boy, am I glad it's on Triple G. You love her. You fear her. You'd rather scrape your left knee on rock hard concrete and jump into a pool of nails to avoid working with her. Fiona. Sorry. Anyways, let's give a big round of applause to welcome Gladys, Gladys Glamour. shoot for this. Ow! Ah, joke, joke. I'm kidding! But no, yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm so excited to be here, Flounder and Fiona. You two are great. Love what you've done with the place. Oh, shucks. The furniture was my idea, by the way. <clears throat> well, Miss Glamour, word has it that you are airing a new show live next week. And I mean, I know it's a surprise, but is there anything at all you can share with us about it? Well, Fiona, I think total secrecy has its perks. I want it to be unexpected and mysterious and original. Well, not that you'd know anything about originality, Fiona. 
Glamour. You can call me Gladys. <gasps> oh, we can, can we? Well, Gladys. We wish you the best on your upcoming show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're just going to take a quick break and we'll be right back on Good Gorning Galactica. Galactica. Everyone, take 10. by my first name. Pathetic. Ryan. Yes. Oh, bad. Linda, hi. Pilates at two? No, yeah, make that one. Actually, 1.30. No, I'm fine, you know, just doing my thing. How are the kids? Yeah? Yeah, no, 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 no. I've just been so busy. We're working on this really fantastic show. Excuse I can't say much about it because uh, the government made me sign like, this like this really... <laughs> Sorry, Glinda. What? You have a meeting in an hour regarding your show, Miss Glamour. <laughs> Who are you? Rose, your assistant. I've been for five years now. <laughs> uh, I ghost wrote your book. I saved your life when your skydiving parachute didn't work. I introduced you to a therapist. I waxed your- Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Rhonda, ah, darling, how are you? Rose and just peachy. Oh my god, Raquel, I'm so glad. Okay, so I love you so much, but what we are not gonna do is interrupt moi when moi is taking a phone call. Hold on one sec. Uh, it's Rose, by the way, and I am so sorry, Miss Glamour. I just wanted to let you know that I could not clear your schedule for this afternoon. You have a huge meeting at one, which is in an hour, about your upcoming show. <sighs> Riley, Riley, Riley. It's Rose. I thought I told you to clear my schedule. Why can't you do anything right? Oh, well, I guess I have to do everything myself. Give me your phone. But now, Rachel. But, Miss Glamour, it's for your show, the one you haven't decided on yet. True. Fine. I will attend this meeting. Really? Okay, now escort me out. I'm leaving. Bye, Flounder. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Miss Glamour. You didn't finish your interview yet. <laughs> Shut up, Big. I have a meeting to attend. This meeting will dictate whether or not I have my next big comeback. It will be in the book, so don't forget that fickle. I will be a star again. <laughs> so you're leaving. Abby, see ya! <laughs> oh, she irks me. Yeah, she's so hot. Yep, human. 
And your name is Venus? Yeah, I know. Long story. My parents really liked the planet and thought it was a cool name, so therefore, that is my name. Actually, that was a pretty short story, but I'm gonna let it slide. Ironic that's your name since you're from Earth. I wish I had a cool last name origin story. I'm sure my name isn't that cool. Plus, Beatrice is an awesome name. And it's normal. I was named after my dead grandma. Oh, 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 I am so sorry. <laughs> nah, don't sweat it. And hey, normal's boring. No way. Is that a galactic gun? Yep, Glamour keeps it up from that movie she was in. Oh my god, you're joking. Hey, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but it's real. Wait, you mean like it works? Yep, real lasers. But isn't that dangerous? Not if nobody knows it's real. It's supposed to be a rumor and could potentially ruin the remains of Glamour's career, but I trust you. Gee, thanks. Anyways, you're supposed to be shadowing me today, right? Yep, I'm all prepared. <laughs> you don't need those. You'll be fine. I'm impressed you're even attending this meeting. And since you're only an intern, I doubt Gladys will even take a word from you. No offense, she doesn't really let anyone talk anyways. I mean, except Marvin Moon. Well, anything to be in her presence. I've been a huge fan since forever. By the way, who's Marvin Moon? You'll see. Gladys absolutely despises him, but she knows she's nothing without him. The tension is unreal. She only lets him talk so that she can snap back at him. They absolutely hate each other, but I think it's because they used to, you know, Damn, you really know the gossip around here. Yep, been here since day one. And by day one, I mean two years ago when this building got remodeled due to another one of Gladys's meltdowns. Long story. Anyways, no time. It's already one. Oh, shoot, the meeting's starting. Oh, after you, be. All right, thank you, Phoenix. I'm here for a reason. 
Where is she going? Please. Marvin. She just cut it. What are you doing, Vanessa? It's Venus, Miss Glamour, and I'm going to pitch an idea for your show that will allow you to have the biggest comeback yet. A live studio audience. Yes, stars. I told you I'm not doing a talk show. That's so boring. Not a talk show, Miss Glamour. Not only will you have these two aspects you desire, but you'll also have a competition. <laughs> a competition? Think of it like some sort of game show, if you will. Gladys Galactic Games, starring the glamorous Gladys Glamour. A game show, huh? Is this some sort of Earth show I'm not familiar with? Why, yes, Miss Glamour. I'm glad you caught on. You Jorgonians sure do love your Earth television. Well, I suppose you're right. So how would this work then? Well, you have guest stars. Famous people, regular people, people who pay to come on, anyone you desire. The goal is to have two groups playing. They get a series of questions, spin a wheel, and they get a certain action they need to do. That is, if they get the question wrong. Think of it like intense truth or dare. Hmm. Well, I do like truth or dare. Wait a minute, so I just have people play games? What about me? What's the fun in watching people do stuff? I'm the star. But that is the fun part. You get to watch people suffer or succeed. And you have all the power to love them. I'm listening. Venus, was it? Wait! Wait! You're telling me you'd have some tacky game show over a well-established talk show, huh? What's the prize even going to be? As if we have money. Gladys, don't listen to him. By the way, I loved your talk. It's Vivian Westwood. Shut up. Oh my gosh. You did not just call her by her first name. Gladys, do something. Oh, I will, Marvin. Venus, you are my new manager. Marvin, you are now my intern. What? what? Happy to be working with you, ma'am. Oh, call me Gladys, babe. OK, Gladys. <laughs>
schedule. <laughs> you finished your 9 o'clock appointment with your therapist. You're 1030 at the nail salon. It's currently noon. And your new manager, Phoenix, is coming in 30 minutes for your the last few details about your new show, Gladys' Galactic Games, which airs live in two days. Oh, and your schedule's free for the rest of the day. <gasps> yes! We're almost done with that brat! Gladys, my arm's getting tired. Keep fanning, Fig! <laughs> so, Gladys, your show airs in two days? Shut up, Fickle! Why are you even here? Fig said I could come out. Oh, never mind. We are a package, Gladys. <sighs> Are you sure it's okay when I'm dragging along? Don't worry about it. Plus, I'm just giving you the rundown for the upcoming performance. Ugh, I cannot wait to get rid of that Earthling. What kind of a name is Venus? It rhymes with P. Wait! <laughs> idea was good and all, but her career is finished as soon as the first episode drops. That's sort of harsh, don't you think? No, it doesn't affect me. This show will sell, and all I really needed was an idea. Are you hearing this, V? You've got to be kidding me right now. Yeah, she totally said your name rhymes with P. Hey! <laughs> She's totally ripping me off. This is terrible. I am so sorry. But, I mean, I did warn you. I, I did. Yes, yes, I know you warned me, but uh, what do we do? Uh, I mean, we can't leave. The show's live in two days. Then we'll do the show. But if I'm going to get fired, I might as well get fired for a purpose. You two are here early. <laughs> Show them in, Manny. Quick waddling. Hello. We just thought we'd come by a little early just to share the rundown for the upcoming performance. Oh, great, 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 great. Yeah, well, uh, we'll be off then until your uh, Thursday afternoon. Yeah, let the door hit you on the way out. Hey, so be nice, so stay a while. It's a party. You work too hard. Yeah, you're right. I guess I do. I guess I just want your show to uh, be a blast. Oh, it will be thanks to you. Yeah, it really will, won't it? I'm already uh, bursting at the seams, if you will. Yeah. Interesting choice of words. I guess I'm elated as well. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see you before the show then. You take care. Yeah, will do, Venus. Will do. <laughs> you take care. How is it going to Wasn't it? I'm hilarious. <laughs> um, <clears throat> looks like you have a plan. Oh, I do. I'm just bursting at the seams, if you will. I don't get it. You will. You will. Okay. Daniel from Earth. 
I'm Linus from Jargon. And I'm Markiplier from Jargon. <laughs> Amazing! Oh, now I will explain the rules to play this game. <clears throat> Each team gets one question. They have 10 seconds to answer. If answered correctly, the team is free of penalty. But if answered incorrectly, the team needs to spin the wheel, which consists of dares. Additionally, if the answer was correct, you earn a specific amount of points. If not, you lose points. <laughs> Good luck! Alright, I present the confetti bomb. Wait, that's the prank? A confetti bomb? Yeah, what else were you thinking? This play is rated E for everyone. Seriously? I thought you were going to take revenge or something. This is revenge. I said I'm done with the fame. Plus, if I'm going to get fired, I can't leave room to reviews. Am I right? Right. Good call. Room the ladies reviews. All right, Jargon. Question one. What was the reason for the great evacuation of planet Earth? Ooh, I know this one. <laughs> Overpopulation. Climate change. <gasps> Correct! You earn 500 points! Yeah. <laughs> okay! Earth, what subatomic particle makes up the rarest material in jargon, and what is that material? Uh, you have 10 seconds uh, to answer! Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Copper, 5, 6. copper, copper, copper! Uh, wrong! <laughs> You know what time it is, everybody. Spin the wheel! <laughs> Looks like you need to choose your dish. Would you like raw galorps or fermented frugaloos? Oh, hey, don't look at me. I don't make the rules. Oh, wait, I do. Why? Because it's my show, and I am God. <laughs> Whoa, there is no way that this show isn't rigged. Uh, that jerk, of course she hates her. She's jargonic. Or should I say, jerkonic? Give me some. <laughs> She's obviously making our rules on purpose just to humiliate us earthlings for her pleasure. Gladys will not get away with this. Especially when she's taking credit for everything I came up with. Wait, I thought you were okay with her using your idea. Yeah, until she humiliated us in our planet's name. And on live television. That was the last straw. She's not going to get away with this. So are you going to set up the, um, the bomb then? <laughs> the bomb is enough of this crap. You mess with me, that's fine. You mess with my planet, that is where I draw the line. Whoa. That rhymes. <laughs> hey. All right, at this point, Jargon has five million points, and Earth has two. Are you for real right now? How the hell is this? Just, 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 just. I'm the star of the show. You do as I say. Okay, Earth, what's your favorite Gladys no! Gladys? No! What? what are you doing here? Get out of my show! Your show? You mean the one that you took credit for? You were going to fire me afterwards and use my idea anyways, weren't you? <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing with that thing? Oh, this? Are you scared, Gladys? Go on. Go tell everyone why you're so scared of a little prop. You broke the case. That's my property and I'll have you sued. Not if I have you sued first. You do remember that we wouldn't be in this situation if I didn't lend you the idea. I have evidence. What do you want me to do? I want you to admit that this show was my idea and let me take full credit and rewrite the question to make the game more fair. Your prejudice towards Earth has not been unseen. Look, I'm the star. Oh yeah? The star of what? Being the biggest fake on set? You're mean to wear this prop. But isn't a prop, isn't now, Gladys? Go on, tell your millions of viewers. Fine, you win. This is your idea, your work, your show. I'm just the one in it. I contributed nothing. Why, thank you. Can I get up now? Oh, sure, Gladys. No, don't touch Not me. so fast! What? Oh, what? Oh, you broke the case? Sure did. What? You mean that thing was a prop? Martin, shoot her! I'm not here for her. I'm here for you, Gladys. Oh my god, why is everyone after me today? You have made my life a living hell for the past 20 years! Every day you ridicule me and stick on me like a doormat! And 
What? I owe you nothing. You would be nothing without me, goddess. You only take, never give. Well, now I'm about to take your life. Oh my Marvin, wait. Oh, whoa. I am, I am not the villain here, remember? I'll shoot you if I have to as well. Wait. You had the same idea. Who are you complaining? Oh, look. Can we just talk it through? Threatening is one thing, but I would never be a murderer. And on live television. Who gives a damn? I'm doing it right now. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. That's how that happened. I murdered Gladys Glamour with no intention of killing at all. Marvin went on to be blamed, given the fact that there was no evidence after the live recording was flagged five minutes after me barging in with a prop gun. Marvin is now in solitary confinement. Serves him right. He is a creepily weird man. B went on to be the new manager and producer of Gladys's Galactic Games. Fiona and Flounder are now thriving off the new drama and content that that show has made. And then there's me. Maybe I did what was right. Maybe it would have been better off if I never even met Gladys. Nonetheless, what's done is done. I realize this message is light years away and I don't even know if it'll reach you. But if you're listening, it must have. It must have. Well, I leave you future Earthlings with this message. Thank you for listening. Love, Venus. <laughs>